Hey guys, I am so excited to be making this video. I cannot believe the day has finally come. I am so grateful that you decided to click on this video. I know that I have a lot of new subscribers from when I previously told you guys about the possibility of me getting a breast augmentation. So if you are new here, I know that you probably subscribed for my little kiddos and all of my family content. So this is going to be like a small little mini surgery series that I do. And I totally understand if it's like not your thing, not your vibe please totally feel free to click out of the video if you're not interested in hearing what I'm doing for my little mommy makeover because I am so excited to document the entire process. And I know that a ton of moms follow me and I know that a lot of you have questions and you might be intrigued and you might be interested in doing something similar. And so I really wanna share my entire experience and kind of talk to you guys all about what I'm doing and why I'm choosing to do it. So if you don't know, and if you can't tell by now or by the title, I am getting a breast augmentation. I am going to dive into all of the dirty details for you guys, but first and foremost, the first thing that I want to say is this is absolutely a personal choice. I do not think that anyone else's body is any of my business. And so if you want to stay completely natural, I think that is incredible. And if you want to go and get any type of cosmetic surgery, I also think that is wonderful and is entirely up to you. It is your body. You should be able to do whatever you want with it. I'm certainly not telling you guys my experience to encourage you to do the same thing, but simply to educate you, you guys know that I share all of my life with you. And so I am going to be having six weeks of being basically down and out. And I still wanna be able to vlog and talk to you guys. So I just wanna keep you filled in on what's going on in my life and what I'm choosing to do. And again, why I'm choosing to do it. So like I mentioned, I'm getting a breast augmentation and today is my pre-op appointment. I am getting my surgery in a couple weeks from now. And so my husband and I are going to my surgeon's office and we are going to pick the size of my implants, just everything that we're gonna do so that we have all of the details squared away and ready to go. You guys, I'm seriously so excited. So if you haven't seen my previous vlog where I talked to you guys about the consultation that I went to and tell you a little bit of history, I'm gonna kind of recap on that really quick. I made the very dumb decision of getting implants when I was 19 years old. I wish I never would have done that. Also, side note, Blickley's like chomping on Cheetos like a foot away from me. So if you can hear that little chica, you know, we just need to put her in the high chair so mommy could film real quick and she loves her little Cheetos. So she wanted a little snack and I'm gonna chat with you guys for a second. So I'm super sorry if you can hear her munching. That's not Chloe. Well, actually, probably is Chloe. Are you feeding Chloe? You guys know, she feeds Chloe and herself. But anyways, those two are having a heyday over there. I digress. Back to my implant history. So when I was 19, made the dumb decision of getting implants. I wish I never would have because I always knew that I planned on having kids. I always knew that I wanted to breastfeed. And honestly, it just wasn't the most educated choice that I've ever made. I didn't look a ton into it. It was kind of just like, I want this, let's do it. And I did it. I have been happy with my implants, like okay with them, but I was about 25 pounds heavier when I got my implants done. And I've also breastfed two beautiful babies. You guys might not know this, but even though I didn't have the opportunity to traditionally breastfeed Beckham, I still exclusively pumped while he was in the NICU. And so I still pumped for four months with him, which still has a very significant effect on the girls. So after doing that for four months while Beckham was in the NICU and then exclusively breastfeeding Blakely for 10 months, you know, we are just looking different over here and that's okay because that price is so worth paying. But even if I hadn't breastfed my kids, after I got married, I just decided, you know what? I'm a little bit lighter now, so my implants just don't really fit my body. I'm just gonna be totally upfront with you guys. Like, they're just too big. They're too big, I don't like them. I don't like to have attention drawn to my chest. I am more of a conservative person, and so if I'm gonna wear like a top like I'm wearing today, I don't wanna have cleavage. I don't want like your eyes to go straight to my chest, you know? And I just feel like I can't get away with wearing a lot of things because my implants are just too big for my body and it doesn't look very natural. And so I am actually going to be downsizing. I am going to be getting a smaller implant and then I am also going to be getting a full lift. 
I am of course getting the full lift because breastfeeding took a hit on my body and that's okay, but I want to do it in the same surgery so I only have to go under once. Like I said, today we are going to go figure out all of the fun details, which I'm so excited for because I have a really good idea of like what I want to do and what I want them to look like and the size that I want but I need to finalize everything with my surgeon so that we're on the same page and so that my expectations are realistic. As you guys know, I'm gonna try to film this video and then like edit it and get it uploaded on like an actual timeline that makes sense as I'm talking because a lot of times I like pre-film things and then I go to upload it and I'm like, what I'm saying doesn't even make sense because like the time has already passed, but I'm going to try to get this edited and uploaded. The first thing, I am going to Mexico in a couple weeks and then my surgery is a few days after I get home. So Hunter, bless his sweet, sweet soul, is going to be here working from home for six weeks while I recover. And I am also having another appointment right before my surgery. So like right when I get home from Mexico, the next day, I believe, I go back into my surgeon's office and they are actually going to drain my current implants. So I am finalizing everything today and then we are going to see how everything is looking and like how much tissue I actually have on like my natural breast on the Friday before my surgery, which is on Monday, November 22nd. We just have a few appointments that are gonna be really fun, really telling, and I wanna vlog it all for you guys. Another thing that I want to do is a q and A. I I wanna do a pre-op q and A. So any questions that you guys have, please leave them in the comments below, and I will be filming a Q&A video, and then of course I'm going to be doing post-surgery vlogs. We're gonna vlog the entire surgery. I'm gonna vlog my appointment today so you guys can hear Hear, like everything I decide on which is super exciting and then I will also do a Q&A post-surgery to tell you guys like how I'm recovering and see what questions you have. Blakely clearly wants to talk to you guys so you know leave her a shout out in the comments below. <laughs> She's like waving her arms. She must have thrown all of her Cheetos off of her tray to Chloe but I'm gonna go get that little one out of her chair so I just wanted to give you guys a little intro to this vlog let you know what's going on today again leave any questions that you have about my surgery in the comments below and I will add them into my Q&A video and again I just want to say one more time that if you don't agree with this that is totally okay I am not trying to change your opinion on plastic surgery you know this is just a decision that I'm making for my own body and something that I've wanted to do for a long time because I'm uncomfortable with where I'm currently at I will be 100% honest with you had I never gotten implants in the first place I would probably only be getting a full lift and no implants at all but because I'm used to seeing my body with implants, I just feel like that would be such a dramatic change and really difficult on my mental health if I remove my implants post breastfeeding all at once. I just feel like that would be a lot. So this is what I'm choosing to do. Again, I'll answer more questions for you guys in the future. And I'm excited to take you guys with me to my pre-op appointment today. Oops. Okay guys, so I am not seeing my surgeon today, but I'm gonna go over with the like coordinator or nurse exactly my size of implants that I want. They're gonna put in an order for my silicone implant. I'm getting the gummy bear, but I'll go over all of that later with you guys. So I'm super excited. We're finalizing everything and I just like cannot wait. Their office is so freaking cute. I just like love them. I get the best vibes and I definitely feel like I picked the best surgeon. So I will keep you guys updated. So we are just finishing up. We just talked about multiple implant sizes that would look the best on my body and kind of the look that I am going for. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna put an implant order in for the sizes 215 cc, 255 cc, 285 cc, and 310 cc. And then the morning of my surgery, we will go over everything, check things out, and see 
what is going to be the best for my body and the look that I'm going for. The girls made me feel just like so good and excited and confident. So I'm hyped and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it because we're not gonna be showing anything, but we're gonna be talking about it. <laughs> so hyped that was the best appointment ever they even decided not to give me an aspiration which means not to drain my current implants because we have like such a good plan so we're gonna hop in the car so you guys can hear me a little bit better and give you an update but I am so hyped thanks for being my sugar daddy <laughs> I'm talking to Hunter not you guys okay, I love you so much. <laughs> Okay guys, just a little recap. First, I wasn't able to film quite as much as I would have liked to, but that's okay because it wouldn't have been fully appropriate to film because we were kind of looking at the current situation, deciding what was gonna be best, getting some inspo pictures, taking photos of myself currently, etc. And so I just had like the most positive experience. I'm literally so hyped for this. I've just like wanted this for so, so long. And I just wanna reiterate you guys that me altering my body in any way is not something that I'm encouraging or projecting onto anybody else. I just feel a little bit uncomfortable with where I'm currently at and my current implant size. I'll be totally honest, had I never gotten an implant, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, I probably wouldn't be getting one now but in order to get the fullness on top that I really want I do have to get an implant with my lift but I know I already saw some questions coming in on my Instagram if you guys don't follow me on there I also put question pulls up all the time on my Instagram so I'll go ahead and leave my handle down here so you guys can go follow me over there to participate in any future Q&A's but overall we just decided that a lift and an implant is really going to give me the aesthetic that I'm really looking for but once again, I am going way smaller with my implant. And so, like I mentioned in the office, they're gonna be ordering me multiple different sizes so that we can decide the morning of exactly what I want. And then while I'm actually under in surgery, I'm really leaving it up to my surgeon. I'm gonna trust that he knows exactly what I'm going for, the exact look that I want. And when he opens me up and like gets in there and just kind of sees what he's working with, I know that he will make the best decision for me. So I am so excited, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little surgery vlog the next vlog in this surgical series that I will have up will probably be a sit down Q&A and then we actually canceled my aspiration I hope you guys were able to hear that because it was a little bit loud outside but we feel like we have an idea of what I want and that we don't really need to drain my current implants to get a better idea and so I'm pretty excited about that because I've heard that it's not always like the most comfortable and it's also nice because Hunter would have been out of town for that appointment and so it's just nice not to have to get like a babysitter and come into the office again etc so we'll be doing QA &A, and then it's going to be surgery day which is like right after we get home from Mexico so babe thank you for spoiling me I'm so excited and I'm excited to take you guys along with me so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one bye